are children of God, we are joint heirs with Jesus. And it is just so special, this abundant life, this wonderful life, means that we are joint heirs with Jesus. Um, if, if, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. And so we have such a wonderful inheritance waiting for us and such a wonderful inheritance here on earth that we can abide in the vine and the vine and he can abide in us. Jesus loves me. He chose me. This, this is what the next verse talks about in uh, John chapter 15. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. What did I say about the sheep? Jesus will always find you and he not only finds you he chooses you he chooses you not only does he choose you he not only makes you a friend he makes you a child of the father joint heirs with him Wonderful. Not only that, you'll always recognize his voice. Always. My sheep know my voice. You'll always know who it is when he speaks to you. He'll find you. He'll speak to you. He'll give you life. A life more abundant. You abide in the vine and the vine, and you'll find that the life, the abundant life, will bring forth much fruit to glorify my Father which is in heaven. It is just so, so special. God is so good, He loves us so much. He never leaves anything to chance. He never leaves anything to us to do. He says, without me, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God it's up to him. <laughs> because if I tried, I couldn't make it. But I know that my Father in heaven is so faithful. I know that he's so wonderful. I know that I'll hear his voice. I know that I belong to him. I know I'm his child. I know that without him, I can do nothing. But thank God, he does everything. And he is so, so wonderful. So this conference is called Abundant Life. And I just wanted to introduce to you the whole idea of the wonderful abundant life that God gives. And that life is so full of joy. He says it. I've, I've given you, let's look at that verse again. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. It's his joy that remains in us. When his joy remains in us, we're not bothered by circumstances. It doesn't change with the wind when we feel happy or sad. This joy stays there forever. It's his joy. It's not yours. Yours goes up and down with the wind. Yours goes up and down with whether someone's upset you or not. But God's joy lasts forever. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. And the half has never yet been told. And so we know that we have this wonderful, wonderful, abundant life, wonderful, wonderful joy, wonderful, wonderful Father in heaven 
who says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. Anything, anything. We do have such wonderful privileges in God as Christians. We are a very special and blessed people. We have life and life more abundant. We have joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory. We have a wonderful, loving Heavenly Father who loves us so much. He makes us his children. We have Jesus who looks out for us, who lays himself at the door to protect us. He laid his life down that he might beat all the principalities, all the powers and all the powers of darkness. He stripped them of their power on Calvary because he laid down his life at the door for us that we might live. Amen? Amen. Haven't we got a wonderful Father? Haven't we got a wonderful Savior? Haven't we got a wonderful Lord? And none of it we deserve, but he loves us so much. So life abundant, abide in the vine. Just stay there. Don't try and wander off. Just stay there. You'll find the fruit grows. You'll find as you do what he says, you'll bring forth abundant fruit to glorify your Father which is in heaven. And it is so special. Amen? Amen. Amen. God bless you all.